Welcome to another Group Iron Man episode. We are going to start this one off by doing quite a bit of Corrupted Gauntlet. It is pretty hard for me to get KC right now with my stats, but I should be able to get some. So let's see if we can get lucky and get something good. First Gauntlet kill of the video. Let's see what we get. Imagine getting the uh, Crystal Weapon seed on the first one. And that is not that, but it's uh, pretty decent runes. Cosmics are rare. If you're wondering, I am not doing the 5-1 method, by the way. I might try to learn it, but that was a personal best for some more runes, rubies, and arrows. Third chest is some alchemy. Oh my god, that's a lot of rune plate skirts. That's a double drop. KC number 5. After this one, I will show 10, 15, 20 every 5. So let's see what we get. And we get some runes and alchemy I was wondering why I got the Gauntlet Adept, which is for 10kc achievement now, on 9kc, but it's obviously because I did one normal as well, so if you're wondering if that counts in, it definitely does. So the ninth chest is going to be Rune Halberds, that's some decent Alex. Just look at my inventory, this is from 9 completions, also I did die now and then quite a bit, but uh, the only decent item I got from the deaths was an Adam Plate Body, 10k Alex, so I kept that one, but let's just have a quick price check here. This is 1 million, and basically everything in Alex, I guess, except the gems a bit, but yeah, most of it is very useful. But that is the Corrupted Gauntlet Veteran, so that is actually 10kc on the Corrupted Gauntlet. So let's see what we get for this chest. And we get some nature runes. Ooh, 3 rune chain bodies, that's almost 100k. 15 completions, the loot is stacking up in my inventory, and we are getting... Wow, that's a lot of mithril arrows, but uh, I don't think they're very useful for anything. Oh my god, look at all those alchemists. Three plate legs and three halberds. That's uh, 225k. Oh my god, still getting personal bests on kill count number 20. And what are we going to get for this one? And some uh, rune items again. But look at all these rune items. The alchemists are stacking. The Corrupted Hunglef is a pretty long fight, actually. It's like 4 minutes for me, 4 minutes or 4.30 or something like that. And it is actually very click intensive. You have to swap weapons, you have to swap prayers, you have to move, and you have to do all of these things very quickly. If you screw them up, you can actually get hit for massive amounts. And on top of that, you have very limited supplies usually. So sometimes I go in there with the uh, half of my inventory full of food, and sometimes I go in with basically a full inventory. Inventory. And you know, if you have half an inventory, then if you screw up one prayer, you're basically done. Of course, if you have higher stats, you have augury, rigor, all those things, then you can screw up a bit more. But with a lower tier account doing this, with of course only using Eagle Eye and Mystic Might, it is a bit more difficult. I am currently not really dying that much anymore. I did die a lot in the beginning, but the more practice I've had, of course, doing both the run for getting the gear and the supplies, and on the Corrupted Hunt left itself, I am successfully getting kills almost 50-60% of the time, which is still, of course, not close to 100%, but uh, with my setup and, you know, everything when it comes to the Corrupted Gauntlet being a bit random sometimes, because uh, you go in there, you don't get the rooms you want, you spend like two minutes trying to find some fishing spots and you just can't find them, it's kind of unlucky, then you just kind of have to give up, at least with my stats. So I just wanted to include a full kill that was a bit sped up and, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's about it. Oh my goodness, look at that. Perfect Corrupted Hunlef. I'm kind of interested to see what that actually was. It was a master. Kill the Corrupted Hunlef without taking damage from tornadoes, damage floors, or stomp attacks. Also, do not take damage off prayer and do not attack the Corrupted Hunlef with the wrong weapon. Wow, that's not that bad. Let's see what we get for that. And we get a lot of Alkeballs as usual. And uh, that is now 25 Corrupted Gauntlet KC, and I have been here for many, many hours, so it is very time-consuming because I do fail now and then because of my stats, and of course I screw up as well, but after this I am going to take a break from this, so let's see what we get for chest number 25, and we get some uh, average drops, I guess. In basically just pure cash, I got like 2.5 million from doing that, and I got 175 crystal shards, I'm just going to keep them for uh, future upkeep of the crystal weapons.
In my last video I did 20 Salcano, but uh, I still want to keep doing this boss because it is so extremely good for Iron Man supply wise. So we are going to do some Salcano now. It is some nice bossing, but it is a lot more relaxing than the click intensive corrupted gauntlet. With the inventory I brought, I actually got 16 kills that trip and this is the loot from that. It is of course incredible. Look at 1100 coal, almost a thousand gold ore. I actually got the first Dragonstone drop as well. So. Oh, that's pretty nice. The mining XP from this is actually not terrible. I just hit 71 mining and that is basically all from Salcano and that was in 41 kills. So basically an entire level from 41 kills. Oh my god, that is the first unique and it is the Salcano shard which is actually really nice because it is a cosmetic upgrade to the dragon pickaxe. I'm not sure how rare it is. I can shake off with this. But uh, let's actually unequip this and put this on. Look at this. It now looks a lot fancier. Actually a very good drop as well. 277k in uh, Runite Ore. I looked that up and uh, apparently it is 1 in 750 drop rate if you were the MVP. And if you're not then it's like 1 in 1.5k. So uh, that was pretty lucky. KC number 50 has been reached, actually no combat achievement for that, but uh, I just wanted to mention that I'm going to get a runecrafting level here. I actually started with, I think, 33, so I've actually got soon three runecrafting levels from just doing these 50 kills. Another runecrafting level 37 runecrafting, should I go for 99 runecrafting on this boss? Imagine all the loot you would get, but uh, then I would probably have no content for like uh, five years. 38 rune crafting. I'm actually very close to my goal that I wanted to complete for this video, which is a 100 Salcano. I'm currently on 97, so only three more to go, meaning that is the last rune crafting level I will get on this grind. Last Salcano for this video 100 KC for some silver ore. Now, oh, that looks so beautiful. But let's have a look at the loot on the rune light client. That is everything I got. Of course, this Salcano shard was very nice to see. Of course, it's uh, not a very useful item, but it is a very cool cosmetic. And look at this. 2,317 mithril bars and 4k gold ore, 650 adamant. It's just insane. And all of these uh, mithril bars and adamant bars are going to uh, go into smithing darts. Because I want to use Mithril Darts and the Blowpipe on Slayer to get my Slayer Helmet. Because uh, that is going to train my ranged in a pretty good fashion. And ranged in the Corrupted Gauntlet is a very good stat to have higher. Because the Mage level doesn't really matter that much. You don't really hit harder, it's just accuracy. But the range level does uh, matter quite a bit. So I used 1000 Mithril Bars to make... 10,000 mithril dart tips and that is going to be a lot of fletching experience as well. I have the feathers here and I think uh, that should be quite enough for all the blow piping I will need to do on this slayer grind. Let's see how much one of these is in uh, 112 fletching experience and I can just do this. Look, look at this experience. Oh my goodness. 10,000 mithril darts now fletched. Let's put that into the blowpipe and also I've got two fletching levels from that so free total levels I guess. But talking about free total levels we also have the tiers of gothics completed, 38 runecrafting and how much experience did we get? I missed it but 40 runecrafting almost 41 that is massive. So I'm going to start off doing Slayer with melee because the black mask obviously works for melee but not for ranged. But when I do get that Slayer helmet, which uh, shouldn't take all too long, then I can do ranged. But uh, 67 Slayer, first Slayer level. So it's been a while and I've done a couple of tasks, but this is a Konar task, task number 50, which gives 270 points. Which is now enough Slayer points to buy the Slayer helmet, and after this I have to imbue it with Nightmare Zone. Shouldn't be that bad, last time I did Nightmare Zone for the uh, uh, Ring of Suffering imbue, I had a Dragon Scimitar, but now I have an Abyssal Whip, so it should be a lot faster. And this is the one, Malevolent Masquerade, let's buy that, and I guess I literally just do that, yep, there we go, that is the Slayer Helmet, bit late to the party I guess, but uh, now you have it done, let's go and imbue it. I would say about uh, three and a half hours later, I have all the points that I needed, and let's go and imbue the Slayer Helmet, it is now 
bit brighter. That's the visual upgrade and uh, the Slayer Helmet is no longer only a melee helmet. It is now for ranged and magic. So now we can actually get training with some ranged and do some Slayer. Actually not a bad task to start off with, Aberrant Spectres. Now I could of course get the Salve Amulet imbued, that would work on Aberrant Spectres, but that's a lot of more Nightmare Zone and I'm not really feeling like doing that right now. The uh, Salve Amulet is the same as the Slayer Helmet, it only works for melee in the beginning. But if you do enchant it, it works for magic and ranged as well. Or maybe it's only for ranged, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that this time. Oh my god, look at this consistency. The DPS is insane. Already 2.5k ranged experience and I just started. This is going to be a good task. Very early on, already 80 range. I was already close to it. But that is a pretty nice milestone. It's uh, broadcasted in the clan as well. I think my overarching goals is going to be to uh, do some Slayer with a blowpipe, go to Solra, recharge my scales for it, because we are soon going to have a trident, because Max Snake is like, I think, 80k Slayer experience off 87 when you can get the trident, and when I have a trident, I can get easy scales from Solra, and meanwhile doing that, training range with the blowpipe Slayer and everything, I can do some Corrupted Gauntlet, maybe some Salcano now and then, to work towards that enhanced crystal seed and of course smithing supplies from Salcano. I keep getting these aberrant spectre tasks, maybe I should get the imbued salve amulet, it will speed it up by quite a bit I guess, but uh, that is not going to be for now, this is going to be the end of this video, I hope you guys did enjoy it, like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see my future uploads, and take care.